Hello everyone. So today I'm starting a small mini series on EXM. Uh, today's specific video is going to be about how to configure a custom SMTP uh, relay via uh, SendGrid. Uh, obviously, if you're you're a customer and you're you paid for a license for email cloud, you would not want to use this for a local development environment. So that's the reason I'm kind of introducing with this topic. Uh, because I don't really want to use email cloud for anything like for any for any of my tests that I'm going to be doing with this series. So I'm going to show how to do it just because it's super simple to do. And then I'll use that as a basis for the rest of my videos where I'll go into more detail about how to create templates and how to configure EXM for sending emails. So uh, let's set the basis of, of where we're going and what we're going to be using. So I'm using a uh, repository or a, a source uh, that I've already created. Uh, this one runs on Docker. Uh, if you haven't used Docker, watch my other series uh, on Cycler Docker. Um, that will give you a baseline of, of what I have set up here. So I have this solution and it's just a simple solution. It's it's just got, uh, it's based on Helix and it's based on, like I said, Docker. We can go into Visual Studio here as well. So all we have is some simple ORM stuff which was essentially glass mapper and we have some serialization which is unicorn and then we have a project Sitecore 10 just released this is going to be on uh, this specific video i think is on 9.2 but it's compatible with 9.3 uh, the docker that we're using is just the Sitecore docker images so just go ahead and build those just like i showed in the uh, docker series that i created uh, how to create those and then you should be able to run a solution or you can just use this as a example of how to configure some of the stuff that we're going to be talking about with the XM. To get started, we really just need uh, for for configuring SendGrid um, as an SMTP relay for custom SMTP. There's two things uh, to note with this. Uh, so the first thing is the fact that out of the box with Sitecore, when you uh, do a fresh install of 9.2 or 9.3 or any version really, the relay or the service that's going to be used is custom SMTP. So we don't necessarily need to make any changes to the web config that's, that's this exists inside your solution. But it's important to note that one thing that's useful because I've uh, already done the Docker Compose up and got my instance running, which we saw in our Visual Studio project, we see we have Docker Compose up and we've got it running already, is that we can actually look into our Docker container uh, our Docker containers that are running. So all you have to do is go to view and other windows and go into uh, containers. And then this will open up a, um, a base, a toolbar that allows you us to see what's, what's inside this. So let's just clip this down here and then we can increase the size of this just because we want to see what's in here. I have a lot of other containers as well. Um, but the running ones right here is the EXM series. And so what I just wanted to show was that if we go into this, we click on that, and then we go to files, we can now see the contents of this CM server uh, inside Docker container. So we can just check, we can go to WW root, just like you would have as if, if this was a running server. And then we can open up this web config and just show you essentially uh, what I'm referring to for configuration. So there's these roles that are defined here. This is a standalone, standalone role. This is search defined, it's using solar, but then down here, it's defined as custom SDP or EDS defined. So this is what I was referring to. Uh, this is also going to have EXM enabled by default. So this is as of 9.3, I believe is the image I'm running. Anything before 10, uh, this is just the way it's configured. And now all we really need to do is configure the part that allows us to send through SendGrid. Now I'm not going to go into SendGrid specifically. I'm just going to show how to create the patch file for that. So to do that, all we need to do is what I'm going to do is create a new foundation project. I'm going to call this EXM or I'm going to call this email actually because it's related to specifically sending email. It could be called EXM as well. It's whatever naming convention you want to use. So now I've created that and now I'll, I'll create a new solution in here or a new project, I mean. And we will call this, uh, we will create a 
uh, .NET, uh, dot, dot core, dot .NET framework project. Click next, and then we'll call this email, or actually we'll, we will call this, I believe code is the, technically it should be called website, uh, following the this latest Helix uh, gui guidelines, but code is also something that will work. Doesn't matter too much as long as you're consistent. I believe I was using code for everything, which we'll know in a second. Um, so if we go to source, foundation, I just want to confirm. So I'm, yes, I'm using code for to represent the code that will go into our CM instance or CD instance uh, for specifically Sitecore. There's other naming conventions that we can use for that as well. So foundation, I'm just going to create one here, a folder called email. And then I am going to select the folder. So email, code, and then the rest should be should be handled. Uh, and I actually want to make this uh, reference 4.7.2 because that's actually what the version I'm using on all my instances uh, within this project. So now I'll just do create. And I just want to select empty and I'm going to select MVC over here and I'll uncheck the configure for HTTPS. And now do create. And now there's a few things because I'm not using some sort of um, uh, generator or templating engine to create these. Um, I have to do a couple of things just to configure this so that's set up correctly for my, my solution. Um, so the first thing is I'll call this exm example dot foundation dot email exm example foundation email. I could have just copied that it would have made it easier but I, I guess I like to type it out. And then we can rename this. We call this exm example foundation email. And so a few other things. I'm just going to remove a few things. Just delete these. And then lastly, I want to just make these so they don't publish. So just none, and then properties, none. And so the last thing I need to do, which I always forget to do, and then I find out after publishing it, I need to manage new packages for this. And so these are pointing to 5.2.7. I just need these point to 5.2.4. So if I do that, it should update across the board. Click OK, click Accept. I should need to update the rest of these. 3.2.4. So uh, now that's done, uh, one last step, I just remember what I needed to do is I need to put the publishing profiles in here from one of these other ones. So I can just go in here, properties, do control C, and then control P, or control B, I mean, up here. And essentially, there's nothing else I need to do because it pulls the publishing settings from a another file that I already have configured in this solution. And so what this will do is it will publish all the contents of this folder out to um, my Docker deploy folder where it will pull that into my Docker containers, which I'll, uh, I talked about that in a, another video series, so there's no point in covering it. If you want to learn how to do that, just go ahead and watch that video. Um, so the last thing I need to do is just configure a new folder. Let's call this app config. And I will call this uh, include and then I will call create another folder and I'll call this foundation and then lastly I will create a new config file so this is what config foundation.email 
uh, custom custom SMTP config. And so I will just go ahead and copy in my my config that I've already written, and I will just paste this in. And I'll obviously blur out some of those uh, keys there as well. But if you're pulling this from SM or from SendGrid, the server is typically smtp.sendgrid.net. The port is usually 587. The username is API key. And then you would go into SendGrid, create a new API key. The key that you generate is your password. And then the rest of the parameters are typically authentication method is, uh, looks like cram MD5. Start TLS is true, and then there's some proxy settings which I'll not blur out on the screen, but um, that's pretty much it. Uh, one other thing that we would want to configure is the role or requirement role for this uh, configuration. Uh, we don't need this configured on our CD server. We don't need it configured uh, on our, our reporting or on our processing roles either. So specifying standalone content management or dis a dedicated dispatch is um, the settings that you need for a, if you have a dedicated dispatch, which I'll talk about in the series a little bit further um, on why you need that, ways you configure it, etc. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now we just can publish this out. Um, and actually, I need to un unload this first, save the changes, and then reload it. And now we should see our publishing profile up here. And we can just click publish web. Now this is my first time using this solution, so I will need to make sure that I publish all my projects. I don't turn, currently have any sort of automated way to do that. I will do that in the future, or if it may not even be necessary for this project. And so I'll just publish them all. And so just a confirmation of all this working is we can go into our EXM uh, series, the Sitecore EXM series is where I'm working currently. And then I can go into our deploy folder here. And you'll notice two folders, one's for serialization, which I'll um, start defining some serialization in my next video when I start creating an EXM template. Um, but for this one, I just published some stuff out the website. So all we're going to see in here is some bin files, which are specific to things that got published. Um, and then we are also going to see our app config, essentially the one we just created. We'll see also some of the other ones for some of the other things that need to be published, but here it is, our EXM custom. Um, I don't remember, oh, it's probably because I, maybe it's from a, a different um, subset. But anyways, uh, you'll notice our custom SMTP is here, and so now this should get pulled into our Docker container, which I have running over here and then so now this is the docker container if I do a refresh give it a couple of minutes I'll go to the show config and show you that that configuration is there and then in the next videos we'll we'll start using sending emails and we'll start showing how that all that works all right as we can see uh, my environment is spun up if you run into any issues just make sure that you have published the right versions of NVC out. So now we have that, we should be able to go to Sitecore slash new slash show config. And we should be able to see our changes in the show config. So if we search for, um, let's just search for um, that name of that foundation project or that, uh, yeah, foundation project, foundation.email. We now see that is Basically, the SMTP settings are now present. So, and I'll blur these out, obviously, for the, the key that I'm using. But it's here, it's been patched. And so now we should be able to send emails with a custom SMTP using SendGrid. That concludes today's session. I hope that you find this useful. Uh, in our next session, we'll talk about uh, layouts and creating your first template. Um, it will be a multi part series on that because there's quite a lot of steps involved. but um, all right, uh, subscribe, like uh, this channel um, so you can get notifications about when that next video is released and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.